Then you put down the blankets. This is actually a little small. I generally like this a little longer, so it will extend out further and extend down here. Because ideally what you want is, you want it long enough so that it will fold over her feet. Heather is small enough that we, that we will be able to hold some of this over her feet. Because again, it's all about trying to keep the core down. That's the reason we put the second blanket just around the core, because we want to keep that as warm as possible. So our patient is being cooperative, uh, because again, this is all about the, the patient's packaging portion of it. You want to pad the voice. Pad underneath her knees. If she's conscious, ask her if she wants something under her back. Under, under, her her, oh, under her neck. slack, then they don't become tight. They just become, you know, they're loose. The object is you don't want to hang her from the webbing. It's there to hold her in, but not there to have, you know, be stretched tight on both sides. We used to use trucker stitches for this, and we, and we used trucker stitches on both sides. The problem was we, we found that we were actually suspending the patient inside the front, just because, you know, we have tension on both sides, and if they were light, we could lift them, lift them off the bottom of the front. So we had it nice and loose at the top. The bottom, we put down really, really tight. But before we do that, we need to fold up the bottom. Fold it halfway, and fold it up the rest of the way over her legs. That allows you access to these two bottom pieces of wood that we can then tie her into. Now what you'll notice is that right now, this is kind of loose. Once they crank down on that, that will all sort of tighten up. There you go. See, that's actually a little tight. That's okay. Fix it. <laughs> No, seriously, because, because you don't want her to be suspended in this. You want that to be a little bit loose. That's good. Now, we're tying everything with three half inches. Mainly because half inches are easy. You tie three of them in a row, nothing's going to no, nothing's going to move, nothing's going to go anywhere. Uh, and most everybody knows how to tie half. You know, so, it, so it's quick, it's easy, everybody knows how to do it. All the excess, take it put inside. We also need a tether for her. Free tied. Okay. We always want to have her on a belay because we never know when, when we might have to raise her. So. Put that in. It should be fairly long. You want the excess to be in the in the the inferno, not hanging off over there. So this is a 20 foot piece of webbing. Lots of excess. Okay. Now, are we cuffing her too? What's that? Are we blood blood pressure cuffing her? Uh, not for this particular demo. Okay. Generally, yes. What we want to do is we want to put a blood blood pressure cuff cuff on her and a stethoscope, and then have that material laying right up there so it can be easily accessible by the medic. And any other equipment that is attached or needs to be changed goes yeah, on. a stethoscope, 
Right, and that way the bag changes up by the head. Right. Now, then what you do is you fold this at an angle, because because if you fold this straight across, it'll come right across her face. You don't want that. So you fold this at an angle. Burrito. Then you do the same on this side. You fold that up. Another way. Then you fold it over an angle. And then you bring that over. Now if there's a block left over like this, what you want to do is you just want to take this, fold it up, and down. You don't just want to shove it in there because that you know creates extra bulk on the side. So, so you just fold it up, put it down, and that makes a nice smooth packaging that does not have a whole lot of wrinkles against it. Now what you want to do is she is she's essentially uh, secured with the V. Now we need to secure all the packaging. We take one 20-foot piece of webbing and secure the top half. We find out about, about where her hips are, and then you just split it in half. And now what I, now you need to make this very, very tight. So what I generally like to do is I'll have one end fastened. So, um, Andrew, why don't you go ahead and tie yours down. And then after Andrew's is tied down, then Stacy will then pull all the excess out and then tie his end off tight. And this is three half hitches again yeah, on both? Yeah, again, just three half hitches. And again, notice where the webbing is, notice where the rope is, because it's all going to want to set it. Yeah. Right. Oh, what are you guys? Guys, 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 guys. Are you sure there's a way in there? You're going to choke her. Yeah. I think you slid down a little bit, so put me down here. And again, this is some of the stuff you need to be cognizant of. They started to tie it, notice it was right over her face. So you go, oh crap, you can't do that. <laughs> and you would tie it further down. And, then, and that's all dependent to the size of the person, where they're sitting in the uh, front of. So you tie your down again. Shades on and everything. Oh, man. Look cool for the video demo here. I'll tell you. <laughs> I can do it, can <laughs> <laughs> Because the whole point of this is you want to secure her and and the packaging. She doesn't feel a lot of she feels the the compression, but not a lot of weight because it's all of the padding that's on top and that sort of distributes it. She feels it. I know I know she feels it, but it's not terrible. It's not like it's not like it is when you put it in the skin. Because in the skin it can feel terrible. Now, from an equipment standpoint, all we had available was a hard backboard. We'd do the ties the same way and the wrap the same way. Why would you ever have a hard backboard on the ground? I have absolutely no idea. I'm just saying if it's all uh, we know, got. I guess you would, but I've never seen that situation. Um, girth is it. That's got to be girth on that side. So what you do then with, with that second piece is you take about four feet off and girth it. The one four foot section then goes over here. Where, where are her knees? Perfect. Because you want to make sure that it's above the knees. 
so that's girthage, and then you just tie that off and tie it as tight as you can. And that's four feet yeah. from the girth to the end, no, approximate. approximate. Four feet, five feet, three feet, as long as it does what you need it to do. It's you know, it, you know, it's not you know, you know, measure twice, cut once. You just need it to, you know, you just need to have enough webbing. And realistically, twenty feet of webbing is plenty to be able to do everything that you need to do. You need five pieces total for this, right? Yeah. So then, make sure that you, when you bring it around, make sure you find her heels and make sure that it goes down pretty much over her heels. You guys want to come over here and check this part out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do this part. This is like tough stuff from the It's hard to stand there and watch it. It's hard for me to do that. All right, so now this is the full loop part of it. And realistically, this has to be incredibly tight, because what has to happen is this is what she is going to be standing in. What I, what I like to do is I will hold this, make sure it's tight. I'm watching her head as I pull. Once she starts to move a little bit, I'm there. Then you put in a single half hitch here to kind of help hold it in place. And again, you tighten it, you pinch at the half hitch, and that, you, you pinch at the bend, and that holds all the tension there. And you just tighten it up, and then it's nice and tight the whole way. Then you have to see where her feet are and where the loops are. Her feet are here, the loops are here. Perfect. Bring it down, again, underneath the rope. Right now, this is over it. You want to bring the second one and bring it under it. What this does is this helps locks. This helps lock the whole thing in place. So you bring that under. Get some little dust sort of, particles sort of, and drop them on our plate. Sort of. Sort of. Well, you're sort of. Okay, and now, and now go ahead and tie that off. Now, she's standing on a foot strap. She has this holding her in place. All the excess needs to be inside. And if she has a cave pack, Short enough. Her cape pack can go right there for horizontal carry. Obviously, if you have to take it off, if we're going vertical, this has to be removed. But this is a good place to keep her pack with her if you need to. Okay, so now, generally for NCRC, when they're all wrapped up like this, we don't want them to drop more than two inches. Uh, so why don't one of you put, put your foot here, let's lift her up, and let's see if she drops. Put foot there, let's get a couple of people over here. Right there, right there. All right, ready to lift? Lift. Okay. <laughs> Heather, did you drop? Nope. Perfect. I mean, like it did, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, you didn't drop. Nope. That's all we care about. Okay. Okay, so this is <laughs> how NCRC likes to package in a front of front of 
She's dry, she's warm, she's not going anywhere. We can, this is, this is good for horizontal, this is good for vertical. We're going to do it to you. All right. On that side, we're going to lean. You got it? Yep. Right there. All right. We're going to go over and put her on her side. Let it pump. She's coming towards you. A lot of times when you're grabbing, you might have to actually put them in this position to get them through passage. Okay, we're doing it. All right. Your call. Ready to lower? Lower. Nice. 